Hey guys, today we're with uh, the greatest musician that I've known, Max Cabrera. Uh, and this is a gig in Southampton with Soulfly. Max, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm excited for the show. Sold out, you know, so very true. Most of the shows in the UK were sold out on this tour. That's so great. it's it's been a great uh, UK tour for Soulfly. I'm very excited. Uh, let's start off with the new album, Savages. Um, how were the fans received the new crew? Uh, I think music? really good because I wrote uh, Savages for them, you know, because I was listening to a lot of fans' requests and a lot of fans uh, uh, coming from Inslave, which was a very extreme record. Uh, some of the fans wanted me to go back to a little bit more tribal groove sound, and I did that on Savages to please them. So okay. I think, you know. Um, I think a lot of the fans were pleased with Savages and had a lot of cool things on it too, like some of the collaborations we knew from Clutch and Mitch from Napalm Death um, also came out really good. So all, all in all, I think it's a, it's a strong record and it's all flies ninth record and it was the right record to make. Yeah. Uh, this is your son Zion's debut as yeah. a drummer and also your younger son played one track Sings in the album. Yeah. Yes. How was the whole recording process? Uh, it was great, you know, it was very, Terry Date produced and we recorded in Seattle with him. We went to a very nice studio, Studio X. Okay. It's downtown Seattle, it's where Les Soundgarden was made. So it's a very professional, high quality studio and Terry did a great job. It's my favorite sound of all the Soulfly records. Okay. I think uh, all of all the records I made in my whole career, this yeah. is my favorite sounding record. Okay. So, um, Soulfly sound over the years is, uh, was very new metal and uh, then it got to more like brutal death metal with Dark Ages. Uh, how do you see the first three albums of Soulfly? Um, I like all of them. I, mean, I think they all make sense because they didn't stay on the same thing. They kept changing, you know, and that's exciting, you know, when a band can change like that. And so, uh, for me, it's, it's always going to be fun to keep pushing me to the limit and go further and try to always not make the same record but create something new all the time. So I look at the Soulfly catalog and I'm very proud because the records are very different. If you compare Soulfly 1 to Enslave, it's night and day different. But they're, they're both Soulfly records, you know, so I'm proud that we create them. Yeah. Um, speaking of collaborations, the new collaboration is with Dillinger Ex Escape Plan, Mastodon, and uh, Ex Mars Walter. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, it's called Killer Be Kill. Yeah. It's gonna come out in May. It's all done. The records are finished and it came out great. Twelve songs. The album is actually gonna have eleven songs. We left one song as a B side for a special edition. It's a song called Ghost of Chernobyl, and uh, the record is awesome. It's very cool, very original. The three of us are singing on every song. I think that's the most original thing uh, of all. And I play all the guitars on it. So I play all the rhythm guitars on the whole record. And I uh, felt really good to do that. I have not done that in a long time. And it felt really killer to just get back at, at heavy guitar playing and made a whole record with that. And. Uh, I got along really good with the guys, uh, Troy is super nice, uh, Greg, I knew him for a long time, and Dave, I met him through the process, and they're all great guys, and we made a fantastic record together. Okay, great. Uh, as a musician, you're known to be very busy, and uh, recently you've revived uh, Kevin Rock Conspiracy. Yeah. Uh, how is that going about for you? Yeah, it's great. Cavalera is, uh, we made a new record, re uh, recorded in January. And uh, it's a bit grindcore, it's very powerful, very brutal, it's fast, the whole thing is fast. I want Igor to play super fast. Okay. And so there's a lot of adrenaline on that record and it's going to come out in October on uh, Napalm Records. Yeah. And I'm very excited. Okay. Uh, since you've been collaborating with a lot of musicians and playing in different bands, has that changed your perspective as a musician? Speak me better, I think, you know, because you get to jam, and, and the more you jam, the more you learn. The more you learn, the better musician you, you become, you know, so you, you get 
get more experience by playing with other people and um, I really enjoy playing with other musicians you know I love Soulfly Soulfly is great but I don't see myself only in Soulfly I see myself doing all these other things on the side okay uh, about your autobiography My Bloody Roots can you tell us a little bit about yeah that? you got the prototype right here that's great that's the prototype and uh, it's gonna that's a picture of me in Brazil. The, it was introduction by Dave Grohl. He did a great job. And uh, I love the book. I think it's great. I think it's, it's fantastic stories, really cool stories. And there's really funny stuff. There's sad stuff. There's yes. tragedy. There's triumphs, you know. Okay. So it's a full drama, <laughs> you know. So, for uh, you. The autobiography, uh, a little bit that I've read, said you're going to reveal a lot of secrets as well. Yeah, so. there's a lot of secrets, yeah. It was good to write, you know, it felt good to write it and let those demons out, you know, let people know about my life, you know. Yeah, of course, yeah. Uh, so have you ever thought about uh, bringing Soulfly to India? Have you got any I hope so, I'd love to go there. Yeah. I know we're going to Kazakhstan okay. uh, later this year. And Siberia and Turkey and uh, I was in Tunisia and uh, but not to India yeah so I love to go there you know I've, I've seen a lot of really cool movies that were, that have taken place in India and uh, always looks awesome the visuals are, are really great yeah and I love to visit just for the it's my mom's favorite country she always wanted to go there okay <laughs> yeah I promise her I'll take her one day, but I'm still waiting. Okay. Yeah, I hope I hope you take her someday. Yeah. And uh, any message for your fans back in India? Just I hope to see you guys soon. You know, uh, it's so cool that you guys love metal in India, and I feel very happy about that. And yeah. um, hopefully we get to bring the Soulfly noise to India one day. I hope so too. Thank you. Thank you so much.